Hi everyone, my name is David, I'm a Boeing 737 First Officer and an Instrument Rating Instructor. Today I'm going to teach you my favorite trick as an instructor about holding patterns. For most students, this is the hardest part of instrument flying. When they have to make a quick decision about the correct holding entry, they get in trouble. They are totally confused with the holding inbound and outbound, the position of the holding fix, the direction whether it's standard or non-standard, and all the other factors. Now, if you follow this easy trick, I promise that you will choose the correct holding entry anytime in less than 3 seconds. So, let's get started. For demonstration, I'm using my favorite trainer application called Flygo IFR Trainer All-in-One. It's an interactive trainer with 5 essential modules, ADF RMI, VOR ILS, HSI, Simulator, and the one we are going to use today is Holding Instructor. Let's see! First of all, you receive the following two information from the ATC. Holding inbound track, any direction from 0 to 360 degrees, holding direction, standard or non-standard holding. Once you have these two information, you are ready to start the trick. Step number one, turn towards the holding fix. Important, don't start thinking about your position, just turn. Step number two, take a look at your heading indicator when the holding inbound is just ahead of you and place your hand over the instrument just like this. Now you can imagine the yellow helplines. Try to remember this picture with the exact angles because this is the most important part. You got it? Ok, so let's go to step number 3. Take the holding inbound track and place it on your heading indicator. If the holding inbound track points to the largest section, it's always direct entry. If it points to the middle section, it's always parallel entry. If it's in the smallest section, it's always teardrop entry. It's easy, isn't it? Now, we only have one more little thing to learn. Always use your right hand for standard or right turn holding and use your left hand for non-standard or left turn holding. But the trick is always the same. If the holding inbound track points to the largest section, it's always direct entry. If it points to the middle section, it's always parallel entry. If it's in the smallest section, it's always teardrop entry. And that's it so far. Easy and very, very quick. Okay, if you understand, I will show you two examples. Your holding inbound is 280 degrees. It's a non-standard left hand holding. And as you can see, your heading to holding fix is 230 degrees. Now, what you do is very simple. You use your left hand to imagine the helplines. You place your holding inbound on the heading indicator. And as you can see, it's the largest section, so it's direct entry. This is how it looks from God view. Now, let's take another one with right turn. Your holding inbound is 110 degrees. It's a standard right hand holding. Your heading to holding fix is 270 degrees. Now, what you do is very simple. Use your right hand to imagine the half lines. Place your holding inbound on the heading indicator. And this time it's the smallest section, so it's teardrop entry. And again, this is how it looks from God view. So, I hope you enjoyed it guys. If you like this trick, I recommend you to download the application which I used for the demonstration. It's called Flygo IFR Trainer All-in-One, available on the App Store.